Handling focused grip builds can be very effective in Forza Horizon 5 when used on the right cars at the right tracks. So I've put together this video of the top 5 best grip build cars in Forza Horizon 5. Let's get into it. So we begin with the Dodge Viper Anniversary Edition for S1 Class Road Racing. In S1 Class, most people will opt for more power with cars like the Jaguar XJR15 and Toyota Supra Mark IV. So those guys will be slow through the corners, which is where the Dodge Viper Anniversary Edition comes in. While it does suffer a bit from understeer through the corners, it is still a lot better than most usably good cars are through the corners, and its drive out of the corners is very good. So at circuit races and sprints that don't feature many long straights, this is the S1 class car to choose. Next up, we have the Lotus Elise GT1 built for S1 Class Dirt Racing. This thing is just really OP for S1 Class Dirt Racing. It's very lightweight, so you can really throw it around the corners. Being the same weight as a feather, it gets rather launched by some of the bumps, which makes it a bit difficult to drive. But it's not too much of a problem, and it certainly shouldn't stop you from getting some wins in online races. Now we move on to the number 3 spot which is taken up by the Maserati 8CTF for A-Class Dirt Racing. With such narrow front tyres, you probably wouldn't expect this to have much grip, but you have to remember this is Forza, not real life, which is two totally different things. So different, in fact, that it's almost like the difference between the new and previous generations of Porsche 911. Oh wait, never mind, they're the same car. But anyway, the 8CTF has a very nice grip balance to it, so it doesn't really understeer or oversteer, and it feels very nice to drive. For the second to last car in this video, we have the Lotus Elise Series 1 Sport 190 for A-Class Road Racing. This is my favourite car to use for online racing in Forza Horizon 5 because it's so light and nimble. The brakes of this thing are really good, so you can be the last of the late breakers and throw it into the corners and it will just stick. While you are very much a sitting duck on the straights with this, it will make up for it in the corners at the right tracks. And even if you use Use this on a track which doesn't suit the car and you can't win, you'll still have lots of fun using it. Lastly, we have the Brabham BT62 for S2 class road racing. This thing is unbelievably grippy, it's on rails through the high speed corners and more or less unmatchable through them. And for that matter, it's pretty much unmatchable through any corners, whether they're high, medium or low speed. So at all the tracks which don't have too many long straights, this is super OP for S2 class. It's such a nice car to drive, so I highly recommend giving it a go if you haven't already. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer all of them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.